Marge! Marge! Get out of here, kid. Marge! Have you seen my stereo catalog? Marge! Marge! It's on the table, dear. <laughs> oh, good, 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 good. Oh, hey, Marge, are you looking good? Yeah. If I could just find a place to re... Oh, get out of here, Mr. Peanut. Where does she find this junk anyway? Yeah, get this stuff out of the way. Yeah, that's better. Got some space to work now. All right, let's see. Got to find myself a new phonograph for the hi-fi. Old one's getting kind of shabby. Where do they keep the phonographs in this catalog? Let's see. No, that's not it. Oh, here we go. Here's one, $37.95. That's kind of nice. Another one for $59.95. Let's see. What else do they have? Huh? What's... What's this? If you still think stereo is a phonograph, hop in your Edsel and go. There's a much better way to play stereo recordings than on a phonograph. A newer way. An easier way. A better sounding way. With the Ampex Micro 85 Stereo Cassette Tape Player Recorder, which is a long way of saying a complete stereo sound system. Our Micro 85 plays and records on cassettes. Little tiny tapes sealed in plastic cases. You just snap in a pre-recorded cassette, push a button, and listen. Or record whatever you like on a blank cassette. There are matched oiled walnut speakers, push button control, inputs and outputs, stereo mics, and VU meter for perfect recording. The works. So, if you still want to buy a phonograph, hop in your Edsel and get one. But for a stereo system that's as up-to-date as tomorrow, see the Ampex Micro 85 today. We'll give you over $30 worth of cassettes when you buy the new way to go stereo. And we'll give you a big, full-color poster of Herb Albert just for getting a demonstration at your Ampex dealer. So, if you want stereo, baby, don't buy a phonograph. Oh, cassette player, huh? Micro 85. Cassette player, cassette player. Harry, wake Harry, up. You fell asleep. asleep. You got drunk again. again. Open, Open your, your birthday, birthday present. present. Huh? Oh, cassette player. How did you know, dear? It's perfect. Hey, Mr. Peanut. How did you get in there? Chris, Chris, wake up. You got drunk and fell asleep again. Huh? What? I was just shooting this scene about this old tape recorder. Anyway, folks, here's the tape recorder I was telling you about. Let's take a look inside the box. Wait, how did this get in there? Okay, guys, let's get serious now and put Mr. Peanut away. This is my 1967 Ampex Micro 85 tape recorder. Now, this is among the first, if not the first, stereo cassette players ever made. And you can see I have the original packaging for it, this very psychedelic 60s motif. And for the purpose of the opening scene, I put this old cassette in there. This actually didn't come with the player. Let's set that aside. Now, looking at these three bottom compartments here, I can see that this one actually looks like it was for a cassette. Something like this old Jesus Christ Superstar cassette, which you can see comes in that old style case that was made available in the early 60s. And that looks like it probably would have fit in just about like that. Now, I don't have the microphones that came with this, and I also don't have the matching speakers, the ones that we showed you in the opening scene of the old ad. Now, this is an actual ad that came out at the time that this tape recorder came on the market. And if we flip the ad over, we can see that it appeared in Playboy magazine, which might account for the somewhat flirty nature of the ad. These were the speakers that were available and the stereo microphone. And yes, the ad really does say that if you audition this recorder at your Ampex dealer, you really will get a big big full color poster of Herb Albert. I would absolutely love to see what that poster really looked like. Now the other interesting thing for me about this recorder is that my dad actually owned this very model when I was a kid. And I have fond yet very frustrating memories of trying to get this player to work for me in the 80s. One of the big problems with the deck was that I had no instructions and that the connections used European style jacks. And at the time I had no idea how to really connect this thing to a stereo. So a year or two ago, I picked up this unit on eBay to rekindle some old memories. This player was a bit of a mess when I received it and it wasn't functioning at all. So I restored it and got it working very well. But lately it's starting to act up again. The playback is full of wow and flutter, and I believe the rewind and fast forward don't work well as well. This deck has been sitting unused for a couple of months. So what I want to do now is review with you the work that I did on this machine, and also make an attempt to fix the playback issues. Let's begin. 
I've got the Micro 85 set up here with these Minima 7 speakers to give you a demonstration of some of the problems I'm experiencing. Now the player has its own amplifier so it can drive these speakers all by itself. There's a volume control here and also a tone control. And in the back there are two quarter inch foam plugs to connect the speakers. There are also European DIN style jacks in the back to connect this directly to a stereo and also for recording inputs. I've got Beethoven's 9th recorded on this cassette. Let's hit play and hear how it sounds. So you can hear there's a noticeable amount of wow in the playback. The speed wobbles slowly between slower and faster speeds and this gets worse and worse as the player plays. When I started listening to the player earlier in the day I got more than halfway through the Ninth Symphony without any problems and I was really enjoying it. But then it started to wow and it soon became unlistenable. Let's fast forward a little bit and take another listen. And you can see that the fast forward is also a little bit weak. Okay, yeah, that's not pretty. Let's get this machine opened up and see if we can make some improvements. Let's start by removing the front panel knobs. And we'll flip the unit over. And remove the screws. Flip the unit back over. And lift off the cover. Mr. Peanut! How did you get in there? That wraps up part one of the first stereo cassette recorder series. Stay tuned for part two, where I'll see if I can fix the Micro 85's playback issues. To stay updated, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell to receive notifications when I release new videos. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I'll see you soon.